Hey everyone, I'm back with my new video and this the topic of this video is the purpose of a poet. So video if you're thinking why I'm discussing it. Uh, it's the most important part if I can say. If you don't know the purpose of anything, why will do it? Oh yeah, that's the part. So you should know the purpose of your writing and you should know the goal of your writing. Why are you writing it? Are you writing it for your any assignment? Are you writing it for evoking an emotion or to per perform your poetry at an open mic night? That's the goal of your poetry. So remember the goal of your poetry and the purpose while writing it. So if I say, what's the purpose of it? So many of you will say poetry conveys the ideas. Yeah, you are true. But it's not that only. Poets tell their stories, teach lessons, and even communicate hidden messages through their poetry. So, if you are listening to music with lyrics, that's the poetry actually you're listening. If you will, uh, if I will re remove the music in the background, it's actually the poetry. If you can, uh, if you can understand it, it's actually the poetry. You are someone is conveying their messages or their stories through the music actually. So there are some fundamental guidelines that have to be keep in mind if you're writing a poetry. The first one is show but don't tell it. The goal is to provoke an emotion in the reader, not to just show it, show them. So and the second point is less can be more. Uh, if you understand the word less can be more, uh, you're you're right actually. So you know uh, avoid writing long uh, flowy words using simple concise language is also powerful but avoid the long passages that you are writing because uh, I said in the previous video word choice is the best thing that you can do so length of it is up to you but don't expand it too much that it get it gets boring in the uh, later on but if you are uh, doing it short but it's like engaging one so it will give your growth where, uh, somewhere but don't just do it uh, because you want to increase the length because it will get boring and the last uh, but if you are doing it well if you're doing it right then it's up to you so uh, I will not tell you anything about your length but yeah that's only so in the poetry actually if you say something poet poets have something that is called as uh, they can break some uh, grammatical rules when doing when you are helping to express yourself yeah that's something that is given to the poets actually so if you're writing any poetry or any uh, poem you can break some grammatical rules there is no hard and fast way in the grammat grammar but don't just overdo it it will create negative impressions uh, just do it uh, somewhere where you can just want to find a rhythm so yeah that's for all for the video uh, in the next video i'll be discussing all about the elements of the poetry but elements of the poetry will be exp will expand for two to three videos because there are so many elements i can't cover them in one video so yeah stay on for the next videos and best of luck with this series and hope so i am able to understand what uh, the poetries are and how can you write it so yeah hold on for that uh, for the next videos thank you very much